The offense will put it in play from the 47 on first and 10. To throw, it's Sanders. Coming after it. The freshman able to get home with the sack. Really nice play. When you talk about Alabama and their dominance on defense, especially in recent years, it all starts up front. You have to have disruptors playing on the defensive line. Guys that can be versatile and line up in different positions, but create havoc in the backfield. And that's what this guy has been able to do throughout his career. Caught behind the line, it's Brooks. Oh, what a move to get room. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. And that's why this guy is such a weapon in this offense, because you don't have to throw it far downfield. Just get the ball in his hands. He catches it close to the line of scrimmage, but look what he was able to do after the catch. He gets an explosive play for this offense. They'll throw it on first down. And the pass is incomplete, but it might not matter. Flag is down, and it looked as if the defense was roughing up that receiver. The offense comes back out with a new set of downs after the penalty. Wants to throw on first down. He makes the catch close to the sticks, but he'll be a little short of the first down. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy step. You take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field, too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second and five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yarded situations. Couldn't pick it up on second down. Now they need a couple on third down. They'll try to get the first through the air. Fires a ball. Now it's picked off. He was looking for room to return that, but he'll just hand it to the offense. They'll take over at the 18. This quarterback is having success throwing on the opening drive in the game, in large part because it's a lot harder to throw on third down than the defense is expecting it, like you saw right there. They were ready. Had a really good coverage call to get the INT. Now the toss. He's knocked down in the backfield, a swarming defense, and he'll lose seven. It's hard to run on a defense that comes off the ball like that and runs to the football like that. Good luck. No holes anymore. On the run, it's Rodgers. Time to take a shot. Oh, and he gets downfield with a big catch. And they were looking for a chunk play, and they got it. The explosive picks up more than 30. High-flying pass catchers and the Crimson Tide. That combination wasn't right at the top of your mind, say, 30 years ago. No, it used to be run, run, more run. And you've seen over the years, they've opened it up, the playbook, and they've brought in dudes. They've had some guys that can fly. Receivers winning Heisman trophies. Like, so many game breakers on the outside that make big plays in this offense. Trying to make magic on the scramble. Across the 25, he's got room. Bulldozes his way through. He's finally stopped, but a big play there with his feet as he moves those sticks. As they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the quarter. Defense showing plenty of pre-snap movement of their own. They get him on the ground, and with that, we'll head to the second quarter. We'll start the quarter offense about to snap it on second down. Quarterback reacting to what the D is showing. Softened him up with a run and now to throw. Touchdown, Crimson Tide! And they'll put that scoreboard operator to work and put six on the board. 
this offense right now, they're doing some damage through the air. That's now their second passing touchdown. They thought coming into this game, they were going to have some matchups on the perimeter of the field that they could take advantage of, and they've done that so far here today. And the extra point makes it 14-0. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they finish it by firing one in from the 13 for the score. Let's see what he can get done from inside his own 15. And he'll be brought down after a solid effort on that return. The Tulane offense headed back onto the field. The lead's not insurmountable, just down 14 0. But, David, you don't score here, and it could get a little tricky fast. If you don't score here, if you don't possess the football, and put something together to give your defense a little bit of a blow. It's not the ideal start, but it ain't like this game's late in the football game. Create some momentum here in the second quarter. Yeah, momentum's a real thing in college football. This team needs the juju to get going. That first quarter is one they'd love to forget. So find your best playmakers now. Get them isolated. Get them the football and let them go to work. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate. It wasn't knocked free for a fumble. It'll be third down. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, no secret what he needs here. With the catch, it's Brooks. Still on his feet at the 45. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. Fresh set of downs after the completion. They'll throw it on first down. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. It's hard throwing in the pocket, man. You got bodies and 300 pound dudes falling all over the place. They're trying to hit you. That time, the pressure got to him and they forced the incompletion. A little pre snap eye candy for the defense. Looking to throw it again. Unloads it left. And the ball is intercepted. Looking for more room. And they capitalize not only on the pick, but the great return to give the offense tremendous field position. This is obviously not a great start for this quarterback here. Two interceptions already in this game. He's got to do a much better job in his decision. Back to throw. It's Rodgers. Unloads to the wideout. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? Well, I know that one fell incomplete, but what a day this guy's had throwing the football. Multiple touchdowns, and he's done a really nice job with his decision making. Hasn't thrown any picks, which has really helped keep this offense on schedule. At the 35, he's loose. All by himself down the middle. Touchdown, Bama! And once he found daylight, it was Kenny bar the door, baby. The AT unit on the field. And the extra point is true, and the lead balloons to 21. Only took two plays to find the end zone on that drive, and gashing them on the touchdown run finished it off. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. And as the ball makes its way into the end zone, it'll be a touchback. They'll bring it out to the 25. Dwayne has it back in the offense, coming out to go on the attack. They find themselves in a pretty deep hole here, but maybe a chance to grab a little momentum and regroup at halftime. Yeah, a big chance. Like this is this is an opportunity. This is the biggest opportunity in front of them in the game right now. You got to get some points on the board. You got to create something positive, Jesse. There hasn't been a whole lot to be positive about the first half. If I'm playing quarterback, I'm locating my go-to guy at receiver. Who can I count on one-on-one -on -one to go and make me a play? Maybe even one-on-two. Who can go up, catch the ball, get us some yards, and get us some points? Yeah, and you could tell the timing wasn't great in quarterback-receiver not on the same page, but when you're going to miss 
Don't miss towards the DB. You definitely want to miss out towards the sideline so you don't get yourself in trouble. Throws to the wideout. And here's the third interception of the night. Gets it into the end zone, but there's a flag down. We'll see if this one is coming back. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. Let's go. First down here for the offense. Wants to throw. It's Sanders. Fires to the right. Incomplete. And he threw that one up for grabs and into traffic. Fortunate to get it back. You know, it's a good decision by the QB because his intended target wasn't open. So throw it out of bounds and you can live to play another day here on his drive. Offense gets set for second down. He's looking to throw. Going downfield for the big play. And it's incomplete, going for the massive explosive play instead. They're looking at a third down. Bad news on that play, it's an incompletion. The good news is the quarterback knew if his guy wasn't going to catch it, nobody was with that ball running out of bounds. Fires to the right. Another incompletion on third down. And those are tough passes when you start throwing those balls towards the sidelines. It's a, it's a longer throw for the quarterback to make, and I think that's when you see the majority of the misses for guys, the majority of the overthrows, and, and a little bit of inaccuracy start to show itself. Three straight incompletions and undaunted. They'll go for it on fourth and ten. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. He wants to go deep. And they gambled in their own end, and now they give up really good field position. Aggressive. You want to be aggressive, you want to take chances, and you tell your team about it all week, and you come out, you get an opportunity in the first half to, to go for it on fourth down. You, you shot your shot. The problem is now you put your defense in a bad situation early in this game. And the quarterback will take a sack back at the 36. We're only in the first half already. This guy's got two TD passes. So you can see the defensive coaching staff on the sideline telling this D-line, guys, we got to get after this guy. We have to affect his rhythm. Oh, look out. There he goes. Touchdown tie. He broke away from the defense, and they couldn't catch him. How about that running back lumbering his way and getting into the end zone? What a find the end zone. You might not necessarily be known for long runs and your fast speed, but all you got to do is get it done. Have the agility, have the awareness, score the touchdown. And the extra point makes it 28 to nothing. So they got the touchdown, and as they kick off, really important for the defense to shut them down here. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. Oh, and now the ball has been knocked free. It's recovered by the kicking team, and they get the ball right back. Because of the big collisions on kickoff team, you don't see a lot of that in practice. You don't do that because you don't want to get each other hurt. A lot of open field, big collisions, big force fumble, big momentum play create. Quarterback changing the plays at the line. Looking downfield, it's Rodgers. The sweet feet keeping the play alive. At the 20, he's got space. Good run on the play, and he slides to avoid the hit. Alabama pushing the tempo. Lion, lion. He'll come out throwing on first down. Looking to the end zone. He was open, he had it, and he dropped it. Would have been a touchdown. Instead, it's second down. Well, the game plan's been pretty simple offensively, right? They are taking shots, and they're being aggressive, throwing it down the field. This guy's already got two touchdown passes. We're still in the first half. And on that last one, he was looking for number three. He almost punched it in for six. They'll get him down at the one-yard line. And there's really no secret to it, David. When this guy's running well, this offense is so hard to stop. It opens up everything, and he's having a great day, showing you a little bit of everything, and this offense has got it rolling on the ground. They'll try to pass their way in. Man makes his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Alabama! Well, this offense...
offense has been physical. They can 